Utilizing the investigator case instructions and protocols is a great way to ensure that your wants and case instructions are followed by your investigators. Now, if you have one investigator or whether you have a hundred, you can still use this feature so that the investigators know what they're supposed to do. So to enable this feature, click on settings and then click on investigator case instructions and protocols. Simply click on the field and enable this or disable it based on however you want to work and then hit save. Now under investigators to list your protocols and instructions, click on protocols and instructions and that'll take you to the edit page. Now these instructions you can edit as you can see, I've made a couple here. I've bolded this. I've done bullets for these two points. I've highlighted must obtained to stress that particular instance to our individuals. And you want to list things here that you want followed that are standard in your operating procedures. Things like investigators checking in or uh, turning on the cross tracks app when they arrive on the case, documenting their arrival and departure times for uh, when obtaining video on surveillance. You can also put items in there for expenses, the proper way for an investigator to notify their manager if they're going to incur extra costs like a hotel or some overnight travel. Regardless of how you operate, you can certainly use these to explain to your investigators exactly how you want your cases conducted. One of the features that you can utilize is the notification. So the next time that the investigator logs in, if I make any changes to my protocols and instructions, I can add that. And before the investigator logs in, they'll have to agree to the new set of protocols and they can also review them as well. So I'm just going to put a dash here. So that means that I edited it and now I'm going to, I'm going to hit submit here in a second. But first I want to point out this other tab is for case instructions. If you want to separate these two as this tabs protocols and this tab is instructions, you can do that as well. So if you click on this tab, you can list instructions. Once again, you only have to do that if you want to separate them. Most people only have a certain set and they can all fit on this particular screen, but it's entirely up to you. As you've probably noticed in getting started with cross tracks, there's a lot of different ways to do a lot of different things and it really boils down to how you want to do it. So feel free to work this area as you see fit as well. So I'm going to click submit and notify. I check the notify the investigators at the next login. Now I'm going to go over here and I'm going to log in as an investigator. And you'll see when I log in, this notification comes up. You can see there's my dash where I made the edit. I can review this and you can see here there are three documents that are also located in the system. These are documents that I've previously uploaded before for investigators to review. If you had a company manual or certain templates that you wanted investigators to view, review, fill out, Whatever the case may be, you could add those here and these investigators can take a look at those documents. So with this, I'm going to click agree and that's going to allow me to log in. Just to review, the investigators protocols and instructions can be accessed here where you can edit those under the investigators list. You can also add documents that you may want an investigator to review in this area here. And to enable all of this, you click on settings. And then under the Users and Securities module, click on Investigator Case Instructions and Protocols.